Oh hey, so we're at VGX today, and today we are speaking to... Hi, I'm Matthew, I'm a lead QA from Y Productions. Alright, and Matthew, can you tell us a bit about your game? Yeah, so we're here today with uh, Invector Avicii. It's a uh, rhythm uh, game uh, with all licensed Avicii soundtrack. Uh, the game was uh, is in development by Hello There Games. Um, it was first started with a lot of Avicii's input. Uh, he played some early builds and he gave the team his input. Then when he sadly passed away, the developers have just been, you know, building on the game and just trying to make it as good as humanly possible. Uh, just keep his legacy alive. That sounds great. So, obviously, you said that he he had a hand in like you know the early development. What was the inspiration, perhaps, for like this particular format, like of actually giving like a bit of a racer on the track, giving the music as you go? What was kind of the idea behind that? Um, I think it was just you know it just man it just fitted with the style of music, just because when you think of kind of space racing games, you know you normally think of you know, games like Pacer or um, I can't think of any other games off the top of my head now. But you, you normally think of kind of, yeah, wipe out that kind of style games. So having the kind of flying spaceship really fitted with the theme and the fast paced aspect of Avicii's music. So, so is this your first, like, obviously, is this their first, like, you know, outing, like THX Res, then as a game for this company? But not obviously for Wired, but I mean like the developers, like you said. Yeah, so Wired, we normally do uh, EGX and EGX Res every year, but this is the first time we're showing Invector Avicii um, to the public, and yeah. Sounds good. So, is this purely single player, or is this um, going to have any time? It is single player, and it's up to four player split screen as oh. well. Yeah, there will be um, online leaderboards implemented, but there won't be actual... Um, you know, racing head-to-head -head kind of thing. Okay, uh, so actually in the four-player split screen, is that cooperative or competitive? I'm just trying to see how this would work. Um, it's competitive, so it's a race to see, you know, who hits the most amount of notes, who gets the biggest streak, who gets the best overall score, while kind of going head-to-head. -head. Yeah. So you can each choose your own difficulty level, and, you know, that will only affect your gameplay, so... You know, if I've played, you know, 80 odd hours and you've never played before, we can still go head to head and we can still, you know, play, you know, to our own difficulty level. Yeah. That's good. So what about the art style? What was the inspiration behind that? Why this particular style for it? Uh, that I'm not 100% sure on. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, it's quite, it is visually stunning though, I have yeah. to say, the neon with the... Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, so how far along are we in development process for this? I mean, is this like early, like releases on the horizon, uh, or is this still coming, early days? Yeah, we're coming to the end of development now. Uh, we haven't released an official release date yet, uh, but it will be by the end of this year. Okay. Um, it's currently out on PS4 digitally. That was launched back in 2017. But since then, like I said, the developers have been really working on it. It's got a upgraded UI, so it's just a lot more easier, uh, easy to play. Uh, and when we launch by the end of the year, it will be on all platforms, physically and digitally. And any existing players will just have a free update to bring it in line with everything else. Uh, and so, is it just PlayStation you're going to release on, or are you hoping to release on other consoles or PC, for example? Uh, no, it will be on all platforms by the end of the year. Oh, yeah. That's good. Was there anything that you felt you wanted to keep in, but perhaps as time's gone on, like time constraints, or maybe it just didn't fit with what was doable, that you had to get rid of, that you would have liked to have maybe kept? Um, no, I, I don't think there is. Since uh, since Wired Productions came on board with the project, we, we already loved how the game looked, felt, and played, and you know that's why we came on board with the project, because we could see that the developers really cared about the game, we could see, you know, how much polish had already gone into the game, and we loved their vision for it. So, you know, we, we haven't changed, we basically changed nothing about the game. We've just been helping the developer, going through it, QAing it, and just helping them make it as good as it possibly can be. All right. Uh, is there any plans for post-release? Like, if this goes well, would you like to keep going with it, or would it be more like on to the next project once this is out? 
Um, I'd say we, we would like to keep adding to it if possible, but that's never, you know, a cer- it's not yeah. a certainty at this point. Uh, our main focus at the moment is just, you know, getting it out to retail, getting it out so that players can play it, and then we can look at maybe adding some of Avicii's later songs to the game when possible. Um, but I can't specify, you know, anything at the moment. I have to ask, could you picture any other musician perhaps like getting similar treatment or would this like be solely Vici's the only one? Um, I think at the moment it's just Avicii is the only one. I don't know if the developers have approached anyone else. As far as I know it's just Avicii for the moment. But it's, it's always something that we could explore post-launch. All right. Any singers in mind? Um, I suppose, no, not, not at the moment, no. Fair enough. All right, so uh, just two other things. Are there any social media channels you want people to know about, like about the game, about yourselves, obviously, anything they should follow, keep an eye out for? Um, if you follow at WiredP on Twitter, uh, Wired Productions on Facebook, and uh, Wired underscore production underscore games on Instagram, uh, and you'll be able to keep up with all the latest news about all of our games. That's great. So, final question. From the game, from like its original, like you coming on board, like QA and testing and yeah. everything, to where it is now, one sentence to describe the game. Uh, it's, it's all about the music. At the end of the day, it's all about Avicii's music, the, the amazing work he did, and it's all about remembering him and his legacy. Oh, thank you so much. And yeah. from what I played, it really does. It yeah. screams of each you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Best of luck with the Thank you.